Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have a historic opportunity to be remembered as the rotter that finally and permanently laid in place the pillars of freedom that your people have longed for, yearned for, for so many years. I need not tell you, this is a joint responsibility. The President, the Prime Minister, the members of this august body, all of you must put aside parochial differences and make real the revolution of dignity. The whole world is watching you. That's a fact. They're watching you because their hopes for your success as you fight both the unrelenting aggression of the Kremlin and the cancer of corruption will impact on them. It is no exaggeration to say that the hopes of freedom-loving people the world over are with you because so much rides on your fragile experiment with dem democracy succeeding. It's equally important, by the way, for aggressors around the world to understand that they can't use coercion, bribery, sending tanks and men across a border to extinguish the dreams and hopes of a people. Let me be crystal clear. The United States does not, will not, never will recognize Russia's attempt to annex to Crimea. It's that sane, that simple. And Europe now stand together, united in our commitment to impose tough economic sanctions on Russia. And while Russian aggression persists, the cost imposed on Moscow will continue to rise. The United States and Europe will maintain pressure until Moscow fulfills its commitments under the Minsk Agreement. While there has been some progress in de-escalating de the violence, there can be no sanctions relief unless and until Russia meets all, all of its commitments under the Minsk Agreement. <laughs> Heavy weapons must be withdrawn from the front lines. The OSCE must be granted full unencumbered access. Russia must press the separatists to hold elections according to Ukrainian law and OSCE standards and disavow the illegal election that has taken place. Hostages held by Russia and its proxies must be returned. Russian troops must leave. The Ukrainian side of the border must be returned to Ukrainian control. Unless all Ukraine has, if they do all of that and only if they do, Ukraine also has a responsibility it still has to fulfill including amnesty for those who have not committed capital offenses, granting devolved administration to the Donbas, as stipulated under the Minsk Agreement. Full access to the media must be provided. Ukrainian political parties allowed to compete openly. Full and unobstructed OSCE election monitoring. Full voting rights for the people displaced from their homes in the Donbas and living elsewhere in Ukraine. But in addition, you also have a battle, a historic battle against corruption. And it's not enough to set up a new anti-corruption bureau and establish a special prosecutor fighting corruption. The Office of the General Prosecutor desperately needs reform. The judiciary should be overhauled. The energy sector needs to be competitive, ruled by market principles, not sweetheart deals. Corruption siphons away resources and the people, it blunts the economic growth, and it affronts the human dignity. The United States is with you in this fight. We understand we're with you afar. It's much harder for you than it is for us. We've stepped up with official assistance to help backstop the Ukrainian economy. We've rallied the international community to commit a total of $25 billion in bilateral and multilateral financing to support Ukraine. It includes $2 billion in U.S. loan guarantees and the possibility of more. 
Yesterday, I announced almost $190 million in new American assistance to help Ukraine fight corruption, strengthen the rule of law, implement critical reforms, bolster civil society, advance energy security. That brings our total of direct aid to almost $760 million in direct assistance in addition to loan guarantees since this crisis broke out. And we were, that is not the end of what we're prepared to do if you keep moving. Please, for the sake of the rest of us, selfishly on my part, don't waste it. Seize the opportunity. Build a better future for the people of Ukraine. Thank you so much for this opportunity to speak to you today. May God bless our two great nations, and may God protect our troops.